Hi, my name is Larry Stewart. I'm editor with 4constructionpros.com. I'm here at World of Concrete 2011 on the show floor uh, in the MultiQuip booth with Torsten Erbel, who's VP of Product Development uh, with MultiQuip. And uh, we're here uh, looking in, uh, and learning about a really exciting product, I think, uh, a, a commercial uh, ready, ready for purchase application of hydrogen fuel cell technology uh, in a light tower. Torsten, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about MultiQuip's motivation for getting into hydrogen fuel cell technology, and uh, you know, after that, we'll talk a little bit about what that means for people who uh, who use light towers. Absolutely, great, Larry. Appreciate it. Yeah, we we wanted certainly looking for a product that we can in introduce in the commercial market to be the first one powering something with an alternative fuel source, getting us away from the dependency of oil and commercially driven products to combustion engines, maybe diesel or, or uh, uh, gasoline. And in, and in that development, we looked at a lot of different alternatives, and one of the things that came to our attention was the uh, fuel cells. Hmm. And that was an interesting project to look at because it hasn't been done before, and there were only some limited availabilities in the industry itself, and so we put this together as a project together with some great minds. And yeah. uh, uh, as a result, what you see now is, is we are able to have the first product that will allow us as a company also to develop a new technology platform, which we have labeled Earth Smart products, okay. which will be environmentally friendly, will reduce no pollution, can be operated as we see here inside. And right now we're standing in front of this hydrogen powered light tower, uh, we can talk at a normal voice level. Sure. We don't hear the product running at all. It's totally quiet. We have generally only 40, 60 dBs of noise, which is lower than an average voice, hmm. and we're generating no pollution. So we're inside of the convention hall here. We've been running it all day long. We have zero emission on it, and it, it is just a very environment-friendly product. Yeah, I see. Tell us, uh, give, give us the 10,000-foot the, the, the view on, on hydrogen fuel cell technology. How does it work? Right. What we have basically is we have adopted the um, industry standards, which is also being developed in the automobile industry, running at 5,000 PSI tanks and using a standard automobile industry fuel port, so it makes it easy to refuel the unit. And so we have, we have at this unit, we have four 5,000 pound PSI tanks that hold a total of eight kilograms of hydrogen that we're feeding through a fuel cell. The fuel cell takes the hydrogen in very simple terms, mixes it with the air and produces electricity in that process and heat. We get rid of the heat through the exhaust, we siphon off the electricity and we're converting it and we're powering a light with that. Yeah. And for that, we also have developed a brand new technology uh, we're using a brand new technology, we did not develop it, we're using a brand new technology called plasma lights. What I'm holding in my hand here is, this is the actual size of the bulb. Wow. And this bulb uses gases and, and precious metals to create mini explosions in here, which create this incredibly light at a very low power consumption. So this is again something very, very new. This allows us to get us optimum running time on the unit with eight kilograms, consuming only about 123 grams of hydrogen every hour, running eight lights. Wow, okay. And how many bulbs like that are in a there is power eight, There's eight bulbs in, in the entire system. There is one bulb per unit. Uh, I can show you a little, a little bit later on the, on the detail on this, how okay. it sits in a, uh, in a driver, as we call it, okay. and generating a very almost daylight, sun equivalent light mm -hmm. that has a very large color spectrum. It's 5750 Kelvin, which is ideal for cameras. Oh, okay. So it allows you to use it for other applications as well. Creates almost no shadow. It's very focused, mm -hmm. very, very high intense, clean light at a very low um, power production requirement. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a light tower in the, the multi line that, that uh, produces the same volume or, or intensity of light as this, as this tower? No, there's not. There's actually okay. nothing in the industry like this. Okay. This is an industry first for the construction industry as well for outside of the construction industry. Our current light tower 
uses a traditional diesel engine mm -hmm. coupled with a generator and we're using halogen light bulbs. Sure. We're using four halogen light bulbs at a thousand watts a piece. So we're consuming 4,000 watts. These light bulbs here, they run at a total of 239 watts only. Mm. So they're very, very energy efficient. I see, I see. So what do, you, what do you compare? What kind of a light tower do you compare this, this tower to? If, if somebody says, well, I use you know, X, yeah. uh, what, what, what's the, what's, what would be the closest thing to this that's, that's uh, conventional technology that exists yeah. today? That's actually very good because, uh, good question, because the uh, conventional technology right now for all the light home manufacturers has been pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. uh, a diesel engine, a generator, six or eight KVA on mm -hmm. that, okay. and a box around it, a 30 foot mast, four lights, and you're done. Okay. Okay. All right. And and so, you know, we have now created something that has no equal to it. Yeah. Because when you have the conventional light towers, you are limited to what you where you can run them and what you can run.